How's it going? Dave from Comic Book Investments. Well, today in this video, I'm going to show you 25 comic book keys that you can still get for under $100. Now, these are key books under $100, CGC graded, and I'll show you actual sales data of these going for under $100. So, let's get started. All right, we got Spawn number one, and that's the first appearance of Spawn. And that's when Todd McFarlane and a bunch of creators went off and created Image. Spawn was one of Todd McFarlane's like early creations in Image. And a recent 9.4 sold in July for $70. And so that's a pretty big pickup for, you know. And these are CGC graded too. All right, next we got Marvel Super Heroes 12, first appearance of Captain Marvel. Um, and in March, a 4.0 sold for $91. Now that's a little further back, but you can still pick one up for around, roughly around under $100. Next we got Showcase 60. This is the first Silver Age appearance of the Spectre. And just recently in July, a 4.5 sold for $59. And these are CGC graded. Remember that. All right, then we got Venom Lethal Protector number one. This is the first time Venom was in his own book. Um, he had many uh, different appearances before that in Spider-Man, but this is when he got his own book, Lethal Protector. And in July, a 9.6 sold for $78. Now, there's many different variants of this book as well. This is the red cover, standard cover. Then they had a couple uh, error ones where they didn't have the red, and so it was pretty much this black because this was a special foil that they put on after they made the cover so a few of those exist very expensive then the most expensive one where the black and the red didn't get printed and it's the white variant and that's very rare very expensive all right next we got micronauts number one is the first appearance of the micronauts in june a 96 sold for 99 dollars and that's a pretty good deal for a CGC graded book. And there's also some, some rumors talks of maybe the Micronauts coming to uh, a movie. All right, next we got Wolverine number one. Now this is a pretty, pretty big key. It's the start of the Unlimited series. So Wolverine, of course, was an X-Men. Uh, he first appeared in Hulk and all that stuff. Then he had a limited series. Um, that came out a few years before this, but that was only a four issue series to see kind of how Wolverine would do People obviously loved him So he started his own unlimited series and this one keeps on going pretty much till today and in July You could get a 9-4 so very recently a 9-4 sold for $75 and this isn't fair market value. These are actual sales All right, then we got Hulk number one, which is the first appearance of Red Hulk, which of course is Thunderbolt Ross turns into the Red Hulk. And a recent sale, a 9.2 in June, sold for $99. And there's also some rumor talks about, you know, he could be in future MCU movies, but we'll see. All right, then we got Spider Man 265, first appearance of Silver Sable. And in July, a 9.4 sold for $100. And that's, that's, a, that's a pretty good deal honestly, for a 9.4, um, and you get the first appearance of Silver Sable, which is, you know, went on to be a decently bigger character. All right, then we got Avengers 25. Great cover, Doctor Doom appearance. I love this cover. In May, a, a 4.0 sold for $90. So you can still pick these up. Um, now, there's not no any first appearance or anything, but people really love this cover. I personally like this cover a lot. You know, Doctor Doom looks menacing on it, which is great. Um, so it, it's a very, pretty big key. All right, then we got X Men 282, first appearance of Bishop, a 9.6 just recently sold for $95. So you can still pick up these books for you know relatively cheap. Um, he appeared in Days of Future pa Past, but he was briefly in it. So I don't know what's going to go on with the character if he's going to appear in other movies later on. All right, next we got Static number one. Now, there are talks of Static actually being in a movie, the writing a script and all this kind of stuff, and I think that will probably for sure happen. I think Michael B. Jordan has something to do with it, either acting or directing it, not sure. But this is the first appearance of Static. Uh, if you were in the you know late 90s, early 2000s as a kid, you will remember the Static Shock cartoon. 
and in June a 9.4 sold for $86 so you can still pick this up for under $100. Alright, then we got New Mutants number one. This is the second appearance in New Mutants. They actually appeared in Marvel Graphics Novel number four. Uh, but this is the start of the series. Obviously, they made a movie. There's supposed to be a trilogy. The movie kind of bombed for a number of reasons. But um, in July, you could get a 9.8 for $98. So I think this book has kind of cooled off a little bit because the movie kind of bombed and it didn't really do anything with it. All right, then we got Avengers 23, the second appearance of Kang in the Avengers. Now, there's lots of, you know, you have Avengers 8 where he appeared, but then they also say that he also appeared as, uh, I forget the guy's name, but in Fantastic Four 19, I believe, Rama Tut or something like that, um, and also in Mortis, stuff like that. So, but this is his like cover appearance um, on the Avengers. And in June, a 3.5 sold for $76. So not too long ago. I think this was at the end of June. So you can still pick this up. I think it's a good book to have because with Kang being in the end of Loki and going on to the multiverse, he's probably going to have to fight the Avengers, kind of like an Ultron type thing. Not the main big bad. I think the main big bad will be probably like Galactus or something. But still a good book to have. All right, then we got Fantastic Four 66. This is the origin of him, and it's kind of like his first cameo appearance, brief appearance. And in June, a 5.5 sold for $95. Uh, Avengers 55, first appearance of Ultron. In June, a 6.0 sold for $84. Now this book's kind of cooled off because he appeared many years ago in the Avengers movies, but no longer. But I still think Ultron is like a pretty big villain to the Avengers. So for Avengers key, I think it's a good book to have. Then we got Spectacular Spider-Man number one. This is the first issue in the series, and this was a very long-running series. And in just recently in July, a nine full four sold for ninety-nine dollars. Then we got Omega Men number three, first appearance of Lobo, and there he is on the cover. Looks a little different than he normally looks now, but in July, a nine zero sold for seventy dollars. Now, I put these prices in there, so you could probably go a little higher, a little lower, getting different grades, ranges, but I kind of just put a, like a grade and showing you that these are actual sales data. Like you might be able to pick up a 9.2 of this book for under 100 bucks, but I'm just going off strictly sales data. Then we got Shazam number one. First appearance of Captain Marvel, or known as Shazam, in DC Comics. What happened was he was originally in Fawcett Comics, big legal battle with DC Comics, which is called National Publication, and huge battle with them legally. They ended up pretty much killing off the character because of legal battles, um, wasn't able to produce anymore, and then Fawcett pretty much went out of business and pretty much handed the characters over to DC. And so then DC revived him, and he hadn't appeared since the Golden Age, and revived him in uh, this Bronze Age comic in Captain or Shazam number one. Uh, they later changed, pretty much changed his name to uh, Shazam, away from Captain Marvel. And in May, a 9.0 sold for $96. Again, these are CGC prices. And with Shazam two and three and Black Adam number one all filmed, uh, Shazam. Two and three, I think, are being filmed, but Black Adam, the movie, just wrapped filming. So, and I know that the the production said that they want to film them back to back because the kids are just getting older and you don't want to see like, hey, I'm Billy Batson, but I'm like 35 years old trying to play a kid. So, next we got Superman Man of Steel 18, first appearance, first full appearance of Doomsday. He cameoed previously. In other issues. Um, in June, a 9.6 sold for $56. So you hunt around, you could probably even get maybe a 9.8 for under 100 bucks, but at least you got a 9.6 for 56. Now we got Amazing Spider Man 45. That was the third appearance of Blizzard, and in July, just recently, a 5.5 sold for 100 bucks. I always liked this cover, I liked it more than 44. All right, then we got Iron Man and Submariner number one. Now this predates 
Iron Man number one and Submariner number one. And so what happened was uh, Iron Man was in Tales uh, of Suspense and then Submariner was in Tales to Astonish. And they put them in each issues like they got half the issue of each of them and to see kind of how they did. And then they're like, okay, well, why don't we put them together in this one to see how they kind of do? And so that's why you got Iron Man Submariner. And then they're like, well, why don't we just actually put them each in their own title? People seem to really like them. So that's when Iron Man 1 came out and Submariner 1. So this predates it. Um, in March, kind of older sale, but a 4.0 sold for 100 bucks. You should still be able to get one for around, if not under $100 uh, today. It's just they don't sell that often. All right, then we got Alpha Flight number one, and this is the first issue of the series. In June, a 9.4 sold for $99, and this is a very long, long running series, and many people liked it. Very popular in the 80s, um, going up through the 90s. And they actually first appeared, Alpha Flight first appeared in X Men 120, but that's much more than $100 to get that book. All right, then we got Moon Knight number one. Yes, yeah, so you can still get a Moon Knight. First issue, Origin of Moon Knight. In June, a 6.5 sold for $30, which is pretty much case cost. I couldn't find any actual sales data, but you could probably get anywhere from an 8.0 to a 9.0, no problem, under 100 bucks. Couldn't find any actual sales data, so I actually only want to give you sales data. Um, so none have sold recently. And so I'm just showing you, yeah, like you can get 6.5 to 30 bucks. And this is a, a big key, especially since the TV show is coming out. I believe it's played, Moon Knight's played by Oscar Isaac, who played Apocalypse and was also in the new Star Wars uh, movies. And it was also in Ex Machina, I believe. All right, then we got Tales of the Teen Titans number 44. And this is the first appearance in Nightwing and origin of Deathstroke, which we all know that Deadpool was a ripoff of Deathstroke. Um, in June, a 9-2 sold for $99. So again, you could probably find this around 99 bucks, maybe in a little bit cheaper for a 9.2. Might even be able to find a 9.4 for around that. So yeah. And then last we got X-Force number two. This is the second appearance of Deadpool and first appearance of Kang. I don't think anybody cares about Kang, but second appearance of Deadpool is also on the cover as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, in June, a 9.6 sold for $40. I have I looked up and you can get this book in a 9.8 under 100 bucks. It'd be a CBCS, but it's under $100. There's also ones that, you know, are CGC at like 100 bucks as well. But for under $100, there's CBCS ones, I think for like $89 for a 9.8, which is kind of crazy because it's the second appearance of Deadpool, which is obviously a massive character. And for some reason, like any other person's second appearance is still really high, but this one's just like under a hundred bucks. You can get like a nine eight if you wanted. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. I hope you like this list. Like I said, there's probably so many more. Um, if you like this kind of list, I will do more and pick another 25 keys, another 50, another hundred uh, key comics that are under a hundred bucks if you like this kind of stuff. Um, also leave a comment below of maybe keys that, you know, for the next time should be on this list as well and i can put them on the list and if you like this stuff uh please think about subscribing and if you are subscribed thank you feel leave uh feel free to leave like a like and a comment and all that stuff all right have a good day